Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I do have a Leo and Virgo only channel. Um, the links to those are in the description box below. Readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. Hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below. Um, if you don't mind winning any one of those things, you could hashtag the word all, okay? Uh, winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page, okay? Uh, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, if you're looking to learn how to read tarot, you can check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. If you would like to book a reading with me, the links are below. I am now offering twin flame readings and extended love readings. So if you'd like to check that out, the link is below. Um, if you'd like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, the links are below. So right now I've got Spirit Shield Tarot which is a beautiful deck. I've got Spirit Shield Oracle, which is a future predictive deck, okay? These two decks I'm gonna be getting towards the end of this week, so if you'd like to pre-order, expect to receive them in about two weeks, okay? We have um, Royal Rose Tarot and Raven's Rose Oracle, okay? All right, so my loves, what are we grateful for today? Cancer, this is the second day in the row that I do your reading and I get on and I have anxiety. What are you guys going through? <laughs> Let me hug you and love you. And this is, I don't know why, or if it's not your energy, it's someone in your energy is going through just anxiety to the point that they can't breathe. Anyways, we'll breathe through it. Um, what are we grateful for? I'm grateful for my YouTube family, my cancer babies. I'm grateful that my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my prosperity, my peace, my abundance, my wealth. I'm grateful to just be here, ladies and gentlemen. I am grateful to just be here. Okay, let's get pop in here. Let's see what we have for my beautiful cancer babies. Spirit, tell me about cancer in love, please. Cancer in love. <clears throat> cancer in love. Okay. So cancer, we have nostalgia. Mercury retrograde is hitting your person pretty bad here. Yearning, reminiscing, I miss you so much. I look for you in everyone. I still look at our pictures. I dream of you, okay? Um, we've got love here. The one commitment, family, my heart belongs to you. I'm so in love with you. You are perfect in every way. And then we've got submissive. We've got docile, agreeable, quiet. I am known to be a bit of a pushover. I love to please people and I put others before myself. Okay. So Cancer, there is someone here. This could be the person on your mind or not. But there is definitely someone here that's looking back at the way you love. Okay. Um, I, I feel like this person, uh, you know, I'm picking up on two things from this submissive card. Either this person let the connection end and didn't fight for you. They were just a pushover and just let it end. Or Cancer, it could be that someone is looking back at your energy and love the way that this person loves the way you love on people. Okay. Um, we've got divorce under the deck here, Cancer. So you could have been married to this person and gotten a divorce, or it could be that you ended things with this person or they ended things with you. It says here, divorce, ending, finality, too much has been said and done. We cannot overcome this. This 
it's time to accept this is the end. So, you know, Cancer, this could be someone that just let the connection go and they're missing you or, um, you know, maybe too much was said and done and this person thought that there was no way to get the connection back. So we're going to use uh, Spirit Shield Tarot to see what's going on here. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the Six of Pentacles and the Chariot. So Cancer, this person decided to go pursue, you know, the Six of Pentacles can talk about leaving a situation and moving towards something different. In the traditional rider way, you'll see a man kind of breadcrumbing one person and giving to a different situation. So Cancer, this could be somebody that, you know, when the separation took place, they went to go give their time and attention to something else, you know, and just ignored you. They didn't think much of it, okay? This person thought that they could replace you or that they would be would be happier someplace else. And with the Four of Cups, they're not. This is someone that is missing you, Cancer. Okay? Tell me about Cancer, please. We have the Six of Swords and the Death card. So the issue with this person, Cancer, is that, you know, they thought that you know, the Six of Swords talks about leaving a negative place and moving into a more peaceful energy, right? So this person thought that, you know, when they were with you, they didn't appreciate what they had. They were looking at all the bad things about you and this connection, and they thought that they would be better off someplace else. Do you see what I'm saying? This person, they just let the connection go, thinking that they would find something better someplace else, and now they're starting to value what what you brought to the table page of pentacles and temperance and the six of cups so cancer this is somebody that's coming back around wanting to talk um this person may not come forward with an energy of just immediately wanting to jump in and reconcile i'm getting a very strong energy of somebody that just wants to talk okay um they want not just forgiveness, but this person, it's like they want to come forward and really talk about what happened in the past. They want to have a, a, what's it called? An olive branch, a truce. This person is willing to compromise. Okay. With the Hierophant here, Cancer, this is somebody that is coming in with a very committed type of energy, a very grounded type of energy. Um, this is someone that is looking for something serious now because you know what I'm kind of picking up on, right? Have you ever seen like the memes and the TikToks that say, you know, if she's going crazy over you, it's because she loves you. You know, if she doesn't flip out on you every so often, it's kind of like an energy of cancer. Like, you know, your love was really beautiful when you were with this person, but maybe, you know, the way how do I want to put it? You know, the way you would come across to this person, they felt like it was a lot. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, you know, they didn't realize the value of having somebody that loves them to that extent. Do you understand? They saw it, they saw your love as annoying at the time, but now they're realizing the value of it, okay? So we're going to go ahead and clarify with uh, Royal Rose Tarot. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in the reverse. They can't replace the type of love that you gave Cancer. Do you understand? So this person thought that you just came on as too much. Do you understand? So they went to go give their energy someplace else, but now it's kind of like, how do I want to put this? Like you taste something really rich and expensive, right? And then you're like, oh, this is too expensive though. I mean, it might taste good, but it's just too expensive. It's, you know, the restaurant is too far away. It's too much work, whatever. And, you know, you start going to like restaurants closer to your house or whatever. It's cheaper, but now it just doesn't taste as good. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like this person is like, they're, they're, they felt like you were too overbearing and they're going to other places that they deemed as easier or that they thought would be better but with the two of cups in the reverse they're like they're missing your love do you understand they're missing it tell me about the chariot please and the knight of wands yeah 
when the breakup initially happened, Cancer, this person was happy to go out, date, do things, you know what I'm saying? And with the Sun card and the Fool card, this person made it very public and very known here that with the Six of Pentacles, they were ignoring you to give their time and attention to other things. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, but with the Four of Cups, it's like, surprisingly, they're finding that they're not really satisfied with anything else that they're coming across right now. Do you understand? Tell me about the Six of Swords with the Hermit in the reverse. So Cancer, this is somebody that is learning a serious lesson. OK, you know, the hermit talks about doing that soul searching, taking time to yourself to analyze the situation and figure it out. And I feel like this is someone that's coming out of hermit mode. They've come to an understanding. They're starting to realize what the truth of the matter is. And the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, as much as your love may have seemed annoying or overbearing or as much as this person may have called you crazy or whatever, they miss it. They miss it, you know, <laughs> the page of swords and the three of wands. The truth of the matter is I, I'm freaking missing you. I'm, I'm missing your crazy little crabby ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm missing your crazy little crabby ass. You know what I'm saying? So this is someone that's like, you know, they're not seeing that same passion or that same fire in other people. Other people just don't seem to care about this person the way you did, you know? So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer in love. Tell me about cancer in love. Cancer in love. Okay. All right. So cancer, you're sitting very strong in your feminine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. It says here, divine feminine fertility manifester. I am the divine feminine. I am love and compassion. I am intuition. I am graceful always. Okay. So, you know, cancer, even though, you know, even though you may have your moments where you get in your feelings or whatever, the bottom line is, is that your heart is always in the right place. Okay. Now, what we have happening here is going to be happening in the near future, Cancer. Um, I feel like there is a soulmate that's coming back around. It says here, lesson, blessing, destiny. We were fated to meet. There is a purpose for us being in each other's lives. Okay. So, Cancer, I got to be honest. I'm kind of getting a vibe of you came into this person's life to show them what love really is. Okay. Okay. You see this person as abusive, cruel, uncaring, selfish. I will break you down mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So you feel very hurt by this person. You feel like this person is extremely abusive, okay? Because you're trying to love this person and they were pushing that love away, which came off as abusive on your end. Do you understand? It's like loving this person was like trying to baptize a cat. Do you understand? Like you were, you were trying to just let me love you. You know what I'm saying? Just let me love you, you know? And this person was like, oh my God, just get away from me, you know? And this person just didn't know that, you know, they've never seen a love like yours before. Do you understand? you know you're coming across as true divine feminine energy and maybe they're, they're just not used to that you know what I'm saying they're not used to that type of love do you understand and they, they just felt a little overwhelmed by it okay so let's see here and because you were giving so much and not giving getting anything in return it was coming off on your end it was coming off as abusive all right so tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer we've got the queen oh, the queen of swords and the moon card so cancer i feel like you're very guarded when it comes down to this person because you don't trust them and not only do you not trust them but you don't trust yourself around them okay you still have love for this person you do but you're realizing here that this person just doesn't want the type of love that you have to offer they don't you know what i'm saying like you feel like you're your heart was in the right place and you wanted to just shower this person with love and affection and you know and you just feel like they don't want that you know what I'm saying so now you you know even though you love this person you're just not willing to put your heart on your sleeve tell me about cancer 
Ace of Cups and the Hermit. You see what I'm saying, Cancer? That Ace of Cups is a beautiful new beginning in love. It's giving your heart fully to somebody. And with the Hermit energy here, Cancer, notice we've got the Hermit in the reverse here. So Cancer, this person just didn't understand the way that you loved. They needed a time out to really figure it out and realize that, you know, Cancer isn't crazy. Cancer isn't whatever. Cancer just has shown me a side of love that I've never seen before. Do you understand? I feel like this person is coming in with an apology for walking away from you, Cancer, okay? I'm sorry I walked away. I'm sorry I emotionally disconnected, you know? So I, I feel like, Cancer, the way this person acted towards you was extremely abusive um, when all you were trying to do was love this person. Tell me about the Queen of Swords here for Cancer. We've got the Moon card here twice. So Cancer, I feel like you're not going to know what to do with this. With the Nine of Swords here, I feel like hearing from this person is really going to stress you out because you had a lot of love for this person. All you wanted was good for them. You know what I'm saying? All you wanted was to just make them feel loved and happy and accepted. And you know, all this person did was torment you in return. And I don't don't think you really want to go through that again tell me about the ace of cups here and the eight of pentacles yeah you put you put so much work into showing this person how much you love them you made this person want to feel like they were worth something like they were respected like you really came towards this person um in a very beautiful way do you understand but with the hermit and the ten of wands it was too much for them they were overwhelmed by it they were really overwhelmed by it queen of wands and the ace of wands cancer this is somebody that is used to fly by night energies passionate energies one night stands jumping in and out of relationships this is somebody that is used to you know people just wanting to go out and have a good time living in the moment spontaneous they're not used to the depth of love and emotion that you bring to the table do you see what I'm saying? They're just not used to it. But Cancer, with the Six of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords, it's hitting them what you're really offering them. So this X is coming back. They are rushing in. They are seeing that the type of love that you have to offer is that long-term type of shit. It's that hubby-wifey type of shit. Something that they are not used to. Do you understand? And with the Tower here, Cancer, and the Ace of Swords... This is a realization that's hitting them really strong because it's like they tasted the depths of the ocean and now when they're going back to these really quick fly by night energies they're they're feeling unfulfilled they're feeling like it just doesn't taste the same anymore do you understand what i'm saying Okay, let's see here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please, and the King of Pentacles. So, you know, Cancer, this is, it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo that's coming back around, but this is someone that is saying, you know what, I should have committed to you. I should have realized your worth when I was with you. You know, you deserved love, loyalty, and respect, and instead, with the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords, I broke your heart and walked away and you didn't deserve that but I, I was just so overwhelmed like this is someone that just has never experienced this type of love before do you understand what I'm saying they just never experienced someone that loved them to that extent they didn't know what love was until they met you cancer tell me about the page of pentacles here for cancer and the hanged man. They just needed some time to realize it, Cancer. I mean, that's the bottom line. They just needed some time to realize that with the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, that you are in fact, and we've got soulmate right here, you guys are a perfect match. So you see Cancer, Queen of Pentacles energy, the feminine is looking down, not paying attention, and now the masculine is looking at the feminine with the Ace of Cups, realizing like, 
you know, man, you know, I never, I never knew what love was until I met you. And now that I've tasted it, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but now that I've tasted it, everything else just, it doesn't really t fulfill me anymore. You see what I'm saying? Nine of Wands and the Ten of Cups. So, I mean, this is somebody that had a beautiful Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles energy. Like, you laid everything out for this person on a silver platter. And with the Nine of Wands, they pushed it away. Do you see what I'm saying? They they pushed it away. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. It was just like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? It was just too much for this person. Look at this, Cancer. We've got the Emperor and the Empress now with the Nine of Cups. You know, so this person, it's like they're slowly starting to get on board and understand, you know, what it really is to have met someone that loves them to this extent. You know, with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands, this person may be used to people using them for money or using them for sex or just wanting to have a good time. This is not, this is someone that has never met anyone with a love this deep and solid before. I'm telling you, this is someone that didn't know what love was until they met you. Okay. All right. So Cancer, let's take it into the extended. Uh, you know, I don't see you reacting well to this person coming back around because this person depleted you. You know, you did nothing but love this person. And all you got back was a nine of wands and a ten of wands. Like this person made you feel like you were annoying, like you were a lot like, you know, like you just be being pushed away and it's an ugly feeling. Do you understand? And it, it, to you, it came off as like abusive, you know? So I don't see you being super excited to be hearing from this person, but let's see how this whole thing plays out. Okay. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.